Hi everybody, I'm Emily and this is my uh, my dog Salem. She is a one year, one month old Sprinter Spaniel. Um, I'm a first year student in Jack Sane's lab and we in August just moved here from Pennsylvania. So we road tripped across the United States. Um, I did do a master's before coming to Berkeley, but uh, I didn't have her while I was doing my master's, so this whole navigating grad school with a pet is all new to me. And for the longest time, I thought having a dog or a pet in grad school was unattainable. I didn't see how it was realistic, but since getting her, um, it has really changed my life. And uh, I just wanted to let you all know if you are interested or do have a dog and you haven't navigated grad school yet or school with a dog, um, that it is possible to do so I'll show you um, a little bit about like what a day in the life of Salem and I is like um, and also try to answer any questions that I know I had or if you do have any questions either just feel free to email me and I'd be happy to let you know anything that you're interested in One of the things I'd really like to mention is that uh, I love having a dog and for me I thought that it would be hard with time management to have a dog and also focus on classes, teaching, getting work done, but um, it's really manageable and also it helps me to uh, like remind myself that I do need to take breaks. I do, uh, I'm able to get outside every day. We walk, we do about two hours of exercise, about one hour in the morning, one hour in the evening, sometimes more depending on if I'm procrastinating or if she just, if she's having a day that she needs it. Um, but so that part is uh, has been easier to handle than I thought it would be um, just as far as time management goes. Um, I also do find because of that uh, when I am working I'm more productive. I'm getting done what I need to get done um, and not procrastinating as much which is always a big key. So let's go and let me show you what a day in the life of Salem and I is like. Salem and I start our day between 6 30 and 7 in the morning. Some days she's a little slower to wake up than others. But once we are awake and moving, we go outside first thing. We live up near Tilden Regional Park. So we have a trail just right behind our house that we go on in the morning and takes us to this beautiful overlook where you can see the Golden Gate Bridge, downtown San Francisco, Berkeley, Oakland, and you can all see all the way down to Redwood City. After we stop at the Overlook, we like to go to a field and chase some sticks so Salem can get some zoomies out. Then we go across the street and uh, go on a short hike. This morning we did the Redwood Trail. And while we're on our hike, we work on some of Salem's skills we work on off-leash training, and we work on recall, so her coming back when she's called. And we also work on some of her tricks in a different setting, so she can get used to uh, following rules just wherever we are. Once we're all done with our outdoor activities, we come inside and Salem gets to eat breakfast. And also not shown here is after this, I typically work out and also play with Salem inside. And then I eat breakfast. And once I'm all done with that, then I sit down and I start working while Salem lounges around. I've also been working on going into the lab a couple days a week so Salem can get used to me being away during the day. And once I'm finished working, uh, about midday, around lunchtime, I wake Salem up, and then we go outside so she can have a bathroom break, and we also work on some more of her training, too. Otherwise, spin. Just going through simple spin. commands Sit. so she can get some energy out before oh. the second half of the day. Sit. All right. Shake. Lay down. Roll over. Good girl. Once we're all done with training, I go back and I uh, do some more work then. After I'm finished working Let's in go the outside afternoon, now. Salem and I go back outside. Today we decided to go to campus and chase some sticks. 
We also have a couple other favorite spots in Berkeley that we go to that I'll link below. After we're done playing outside, I come home, make dinner, play with Salem inside, and sometimes she also gets to play with her, my roommate's dog. And then later in the night, we go to bed and I do some more work. There's also a lot of other places in Berkeley that we go that I wasn't able to fit into this video. We met a lot of our dog park friends at the Ohlone Dog Park, and now her and our pup friends, we meet up at a lot of other places. Uh, one of our favorite places to go is Point Isabel, which is one of the largest dog parks in the United States. The Albany Bob is a really fun place with lots of trails, and there's also lots of sculpture artwork there. And also just taking her to campus is a really fun time too, walking around off-leash. Other places we like to go in the San Francisco area include Rodeo Beach in Marin Headlands. Um, we also go to Fort Funston, which is a large beached uh, dog park area. And also Baker Beach um, includes a lot of uh, scenic views of the uh, uh, Golden Gate Bridge and is a nice place to be able to take your dogs off leash. We also like to go hiking every weekend or sometimes during the week if we get off classes early. I like to use the All Trails app to find hiking locations near me or within an area that I am planning to go to. Uh, I make sure to use filters, um, like finding out which trails are dog friendly. And then as you can see within the Berkeley area, there's over 500 trails that are dog friendly. Just double check and make sure that before you take your dog to one of these trails, you know the rules and regulations, whether your dog needs to be on a leash or if they're allowed to roam free. So that's what it's like as a day in the life of a grad school student with a pet. If you have any other questions um, that you'd like to ask, feel free to email me. I'll link my email below. But other than that, I look forward to meeting all of you and I hope you have a great interview weekend. Good luck and enjoy your time.